Hey everybody, Brian with Pavement Mafia here. I am standing in front of one badass machine, fresh off the boat here with my man Sean. Sean, how you doing today? Doing good, Brian. How are you? Doing great. Just picked this car up, correct? Yeah. Just got it last night, so I've had it about 12 hours now. How fun was the drive back with this car? You know, aside from those Detroit streets, which are a little rough, it was, uh, it was a hell of a good ride. Yeah. Nice. And, you know, you just picked this car up. Tell us a little bit about it, what you know. Well, so uh, we ordered it back in May. Um, it's a uh, 2015 G350. Um, been looking forward to it for, well, ever since they announced it. Um, went up to, uh, drove up to Detroit from, uh, from Columbus, and uh, they were just pulling it off the, off the truck right when I got there. So, Outstanding. And compared to the other cars you've owned and driven, What's the, what's the butt dyno feel like on this car? Does it, does it feel like it's got some good rip to it? Oh, this is like nothing I've ever owned. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's got an incredible power behind it. You can, you can floor it when you want to, but, you know, even at the, uh, the amazing thing about it, especially this, this engine and the transmission, you can be going 60, 70, to 70 miles per hour in first gear, or you can be uh, doing the same thing in fourth gear and still have a good power range. You know, it's not sluggish at all. Nice. So it's got it's good, good good power overall. Good feel. Does it feel relatively balanced? Did you drive it? Oh, a lot. I mean, I I, I didn't push it too hard yet, but I, I couldn't get the uh, the rear end loose. So you know, it's it's really sticky. Nice. And I, I, we were talking about this earlier. When the car rolled in, the first thing that jumps out is this color. You don't see a lot of cars in this color. You know, the Lambos kind of have something similar. What's this color called? So this is the Avalanche Gray. It's a brand new color that so far is exclusive to the GT350s. Um, obviously on this one, I've got the uh, black stripes and the, the black roof as well, which are optional. Uh, but as soon as I saw the color, I just thought it was, it was really interesting. It jumped out and it was unique. Oh, it totally suits the car so well with the lines and everything else with it. And you know, what, what all options do you have on this car? So this, uh, the 2015s, uh, you get either the uh, track package or the tech package. I think the production was split 50-50. I got the tech package on this one, which adds uh, the new sync system with Ford, adds the leather motorized uh, electric seats. Uh, they're heated and cooled. Um, get the, uh, I think the air conditioning is standard on both the regular GT350s, but um, then the, the stripes and the black roof are, are both extra as well. Yeah. Nice, I mean, you've, you've done an outstanding job optioning this car. It looks great. Um, what are your goals with the car? Did you buy this to race, beat on it, or cruising? What, what are we going to do with it? You know, I, I just bought it to love. I'd always wanted a, uh, a Shelby, and, you know, once they announced the new platform, I was, I was excited to see what they were going to do with it, and so far it looks like they haven't let us down. So, you know, this is just for, uh, it's just for fun. Oh, outstanding. I mean, it, the funny thing is when you pulled in with this car, it, it – attention immediately there's been a crowd around this car all morning people have been asking a lot of questions the feedback's been amazing and i think you said you're, you're going to try to maybe take it out spin try test it out on the twisties yeah definitely you know i'd like to find some some good roads around here short of that um you know i'd like to maybe take it out to mid ohio and and push it around the track see what i can do with it outstanding you know it's great to see an enthusiast buy a vehicle and you know that's gonna you know it's not gonna sit in the garage and you know be sold on ebay a couple years later as a little mile monster this thing uh, sounds like you're gonna put some work in with it oh uh, definitely yeah i mean i i would love to collect cars but i'm not gonna buy anything that i can't drive you know nothing's gonna sit around so my best advice i ever heard was from a gentleman that had a, a copo camaro at a, an nmca race original copo yeah. camaro worth more than my house and people look at this guy like he's crazy beating on this car. And so I said, what do you do with this car? He goes, I didn't buy it to look at it. I bought it to beat on it. Is that kind of what you're doing with this? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, just recently I was, uh, I was out at Polaris and there was a, there was a big Mustang show and I, I just happened by and wound up talking to a great guy from Chicago and he had a, uh, he had a GT 350, an original, uh, 60, 66. And, you know, I, I, I looked at it and it was in beautiful shape, but it had clearly been, it was beautiful, not because it had been sitting around, but because he had uh, he had just taken care of it. He had had it since he was 18 years old, brand new, and he's taking care of it the whole time. I just I love that, and I, I hope that's going to be me in another 40, 50 years. Hopefully so, Sean. Again, great vehicle. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Brian. I appreciate it. No problem. Make sure you check us out online, Facebook. Like us there. Check us out on Instagram, pavementmafia.com. The best original content you're going to find on the Internet, period.